What's going on, my Fly Hippie family? It's your boy Izzy, your baby mama's favorite gamer, man. Check this out, man. I've been hearing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of things about shooting in this game, and I know it's very hard for a lot of you. And some of y'all are just having the best time of your lives laughing at people, bro. <laughs> y'all evil for that, man. But look, my job today, man, in this video is to help at least 10 people, bro, figure out how to shoot better on this game, man. If I done that, I done my job. I've done my job if I help y'all with that, man. As y'all can see, I'm hitting like crazy out here, okay? Um, I'm shooting at 47% right now. If I lock the hell in and not play around a lot, I could be shooting like 60, 70%. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I feel like I can hit whatever I want out here, but I just be chucking up shots sometimes and just BSing. But nonetheless, yeah, man, I feel really good out here, man. I want y'all to feel this confident as well. I don't know if you need my size of a player and my rating of a three point to hit like I'm hitting. Um, this is the only build I've made so far, but I can still give y'all my feeling, my opinion on shooting, and that's what I'm gonna do, man. Hopefully, like I said, I can help a lot of y'all before, uh, before the end of this video. So y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up for your boy, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit that big thou wow, the 1,000 mark. I know we can do it, man. We almost there. And let's get right into the video, man. I'm not even going to waste y'all time, man. So, first I want to show y'all the jump shot, okay? But look, when I show y'all this jump shot, do not go and make this jump shot and then just go start playing, bro, okay? Listen to these, if, these five tips that I have for y'all. I might have more. I might have more tips for y'all. But just listen to the tips after I show you the jump shot, okay? So just stay be disciplined and listen to your boy, all right? Here go the jump shot. All right, take a look at this, man. I'm pretty sure y'all don't seen this jump shot plenty of times on YouTube. Now, you probably haven't seen this percentage on everybody, and that is the key factor to this game, man, okay? Now, let me break it down just a tad bit more for y'all, right? So if y'all take a look at this, you've seen this jump shot plenty of times, but you can have this jump shot on all you want, right? But if this part right here, this visual cue, if you don't have this set to what specifically fits you, you are not about to hit with this shot, fam. Okay? Let me say that again. If you do not have this visual cue right here set to your liking, your release timing, you will not hit with this shot. Okay, that's with any shot. So you can get any of these YouTubers shots if you want, that's fine. But make sure you adjust the visual cue to your liking. It took me about an hour or two hours to figure out the sweet spot for me with this jump shot. Okay, and it's different for everybody. All right, so look, like I said, now you have the jump shot. Let me give you the five tips that you probably need before you run off and start shooting this thing, okay? Now, I did see something about, uh, I think it was on Brutal Sims' uh, channel. He was saying something about contested shots, even if it looked wide open, they speed up your shot. Look, honestly, I shoot the same way. I don't change it. I do not change how I release my shot. When somebody is close, far back, I keep it the same way and I am smacking that thing, all right? I think is you have to have a tremendous amount of focus throughout the game, man. I, I'm just, I'm keeping it a grand. You have to have a tremendous amount of focus, okay? You cannot be tired playing this game, bro. Like, I, when I'm sleeping, I'm like, hell no, nah, I got to get off. <laughs> because I will miss every shot if I am tired, bro. Like, your eyes got to be wide the hell open, glued to the screen just to make a shot. <laughs> but no, you really have to lock in, man. No no lie. You have to lock the hell in, okay? Now, another thing is camera angle. Now, the camera that I'm using that y'all were seeing or still seeing in the examples or the clips that you are watching, that angle is not the best angle, but I can get it done from that angle. I think the best angle is when the camera is turning all weird. I think, what is it, 2K, my player angle, uh, camera angle? I don't know what it's called, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The camera be right behind your my player and stuff. That might be the best camera to use in order to shoot at a higher percentage. But I think I can get it done with the camera angle that I have. 
um, if you are going with 2K high, you might want to zoom it in just a tad bit so you can see that hand motion, see that cue. You just need a shot that looks good. You get what I'm saying? If the shot looks good all around the court, you're good to go. You just need that. Then after you after you see a shot that looks good all around, like when I say all around the court, I mean in the corners, on the wing, and then straight up at the top of the key, right? If you can see the angle, if you can see the release in every angle, that is a good shot for you, okay? So that's all you need, and that's why I like this shot a little better than the one I was using before because in all angles, I can see the release point of this shot, right? That's all you want. Then you want to start playing with that visual cue, right? So, yeah, make sure you get the right camera angle, okay? Um, practice. Like I said, bro, it took me probably two hours, man. Two hours and a half or something. Something crazy, bro. In order for me to feel comfortable with this shot. It took me a minute. Because with this shot, and it might not be the this way for everybody, so don't take this and run with it either. With this shot, it's specifically smoother on the left side of the court, but on the right side of the court, it's a little bit faster. I don't know how to really explain that, but it's not as smooth as when I'm on the left side of the court. And it's probably because my player is right-handed. So if you have a left-handed player, it might be vice versa for you. You see what I'm saying? But um, there's three different types of shots with this shot so far. I, have, I don't really do fades that much in this game because I can get open without them. But with this shot, on the left side, it's smoother, right? If I'm spot up, I release at the top of my head. I realize that too. But when I'm moving around, it's more so of I'm releasing when I flick. So that's what I'm saying. You have to pay attention to the visual cue. Um, like I said, spot up, I'm right at my head. When I'm moving around, it's more of the flick. But on the right side, it's a little quicker. I kind of pay attention to how his body moves forward a little bit. It's, it's weird to explain. But this is how I figured out my shooting with this, this shot, right? So look, if you are not figuring out every aspect of the three-point uh, line of where you're shooting, you will not shoot that well, I'm telling you. You don't shoot the same at every spot around the perimeter. You don't shoot the same. And I know y'all, I know a lot of y'all understand that, but you have to understand it to the point where it clicks in your head, oh, I'm over here, so my shot gonna be a little quicker. Oh, I'm spot up. I need to let it go at my, at my head. Like all this have to be going through your head while you out there playing. So it's a little difficult. I understand why people are missing a lot because it's like, who the hell want to go out there thinking about algebra and uh, arithmetic and stuff? Like, who want to think about this, man? Like, <laughs> uh, but hey, it's all good, bro. Just lock in. I believe in y'all. I know y'all can get this done, man. But I'm not done. That's just another tip. Practice, practice, practice until you feel hella comfortable, man. Hella comfortable. And keep practicing until you find the actual visual cue that works for your release. Like, find how your mind works, if that makes sense. If you're releasing and it's saying too early, you need to bring the visual cue back. You feel what I'm saying? If you're releasing too late, you need to push it up. You need to push your visual cue up towards release. You see what I'm saying? So, just keep tweaking it keep working it keep you know see how you are releasing your shot that's the best way you can do it that's the best way you can find perfection in your shot okay um now i did see that thing where they were saying if you hit three in a row the fourth one is going to be moving your green your green window um i haven't shot four in a row but i have shot in three in a row and it all felt the same so I don't know if they're really moving the green window. Maybe they are. Maybe my green window is just crazy. I don't know. But yeah, it felt the same. It felt good. I was just fine, right? Now, I think another thing, which is the biggest secret <laughs> that I think a lot of YouTubers don't tell people is if you are playing on a TV, you're going to have a way more different experience than somebody playing on a monitor, okay? On a computer monitor because... The refresh frames, it's, it's way better. It's hard to say if you're shooting on a TV, it's hard to give you all the advice I can give you. But if you are on a monitor, you already are one up on the game. Because I think they're making their games to fit content creators. 
to get their game out there more. Because if it's, if it's like the content creators don't enjoy your game, how are you going to get other people to enjoy your game? You know what I'm saying? You, it's a free way for them to promo the game. So it's like, hey, make the game fit content creators. Boom. Now they having a great time. Now they can get out here and make all this content. And then boom, it makes y'all buy it, et cetera, et cetera. Y'all get the business already. So, yeah, man, look. Those are pretty much my tips. Um, visual cue, practice, practice, practice. Tweak that visual cue, man. Go out to the, uh, to the beach park and just shoot around. Now, I did go, when I changed my shot, I went for like one for seven on some crazy stuff. And that's because when I was practicing in the park, the park is kind of slower than the wreck. So once I figured out, oh, the wreck is kind of quicker, boom, it was over with. I started hitting like crazy, right? So, you know, take your time. Don't get frustrated if you have a few bad games. Just come back to it. Keep tweaking your shot. Keep practicing. And once you feel like, man, I can close my eyes and hit this shot, or I don't even have to look at the player like that, and I can still make the shot, that's when you know you are on top of your shot, okay? But I would never advise anybody to not look at their player when they're shooting. Let me show y'all my settings. So even with that visual cue, I have high risk reward on too, okay? I don't have it on low risk. I've seen people shooting with low risk. I mean, I haven't tested it out. Maybe I can go hit like crazy with it, but I haven't tested it out. Um, I felt like high risk was best for me because I'm really dialed in. I can really see my shot. So if I'm dialed in like that, I would think it'll allow me to hit like crazy. You feel what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm shooting 47%. I can go show y'all real quick, but I shoot on high risk, um, and then I'm on push. And see, look, I'm shooting 47.8%, okay? Out of 26 games that I don't play, 47%. And I know I can shoot better, but I play with complete randoms. So some shots I just put up at the last second, or I just put up shots because we're losing like crazy and they need me to shoot. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it, if I was very strategic and playing with a squad, I would probably hit at 60%. I'm not going to lie, man. That's just how good I feel. Definitely can hit more than what I'm hitting. But um, look, man, hopefully any of this information will help y'all. Try out the settings. But like I said, that visual cue, I think is going to be different for everybody. Do not think that visual cue is perfect for you. You're gonna, you're gonna have to go practice. And then just pay attention to how you release it. If it's saying too early, you know where to move it, right? You move it back. If it's saying too late, you move it forward to more so towards release. Too early, more so towards push. Too late, more so towards release, all right? So just keep that in mind. Go practice, man. Let me know in the comments what y'all get out of that. I love y'all. Y'all keep it smooth, man. Stay safe.